We go through life with many different senses of self, and they tend to fall into three types. There's the self as the consumer, one who wants to consume pleasures. The self as the producer, one that wants to arrange things so that the consumer can have those pleasures. And then there's the reflective self, the one that watches the other two, decides how well they're doing, what they might do better. It's this third self that we're trying to develop as we practice, trying to train it so that it has good standards, is fair. You can keep in mind the Buddhist teachings that it is possible to put an end to suffering. You don't just have to accept things as they are, but you do have to be demanding. This is the self that wants long-term happiness, and then judges how well your actions are going in that direction. We're talking about training the knower inside. Well, this is one of the functions of the knower, to look at things and put you in a position where you can see things for what they really are, how they really act, what really is skillful, what's not. that your powers of judgment get more effective and your standards get raised. Think of the Buddha, his standards were really high. Nothing less than absolute happiness, free from aging, illness, and death. Ask yourself, are your standards up to his? And if not, why not? He obviously had to put a lot of effort in. to find that happiness. But once you found it, then it was more than worth it. Think of that analogy he gave. He said if someone could make a deal that for a hundred years you'd be speared with a hundred spears in the morning, a hundred spears at noon, a hundred spears in the evening, every day for a hundred years. But at the end you'd be guaranteed awakening. He said it would be a good deal. And when you attained awakening, you wouldn't think that it had been attained with pain. So true happiness is possible. And if you really care for yourself, if you care for the consumer, you don't want to settle for anything less. Which means that you have to look at that producer, the part of you that's actually doing the path. make sure that it gets more and more skillful all the time, and do whatever needs to be done. There are times when you have to give yourself encouragement, other times when you have to be, come down hard on yourself. And a lot of it learned, lies in knowing when is the right time to be encouraging, when is the right time to be stern. But there's no time to be discouraged. Because the path is real. The results are real. And it's a reality you don't want to miss.